Well, we would like to present a project for Odoo called uh, ELG. Uh, it was developed by a non-developer, so for sure you are going to find a lot of ugly statements and ideas. Uh, the main idea of the project is to give functional users the availability to move uh, data from one Odoo database to another Odoo database. The design is quite simple. Uh, it uses native Odoo methods as uh, load and export dat data. Um, you can see most of the structure using Argo UML um, or any software that can deal with except my uh, files so uh, this is the github uh, project and the folder design you can find the 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 related design uh, well um, it was using uh, developed uh, using X xmi to orp tool uh, thanks to for Christian Rocha for that great work and well for the uh, to show you how we this works we are going uh, to start with a database and on version 6.1 uh, it has a demo data and I have installed uh, sales stock and uh, accounting modules and in the other hand, we are gonna have uh, um, sorry. Well, sorry for that. It was a, a trunk error. Uh -huh. So um, here I have uh, well the the main model that it's called manager. And then I have here uh, for this sample this uh, manager. Uh, I have um, record all the information like the source host name, the port, the source database, the target database, the user, uh, the admin user and password, so it can connect by XML or PC and. Uh, then when I, you create a new manager, it uh, brings a lot of default data, but you can uh, change it, of course. Um, but let's go with this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use this button, read and get records. It will uh, read the source database and the target uh, database, and read which models exist and the fields in each database and the amount of records in each model so for example if a model doesn't have any record uh, then I, I don't wanna uh, make any mapping or send any data from one database to the another one well that's it now we have for these two database all the models information and the how many records you can find in each one and then I use this button match an order it will try to so let's wait well we can see here the log of the oper uh, the last operation we have run so it uh, has made some mappings we call it uh, actions S um, so let's go to actions and let's see well mm, you can see for example that uh, many of these actions doesn't have uh, has a mate in the like in the target uh, database that is because the our mb8 database it's empty so the first thing I'm gonna do is install some modules and you can do it right here for example I, I has uh, take notes that I wanna install this module so I just press this button now I should read again the models in the database and match again so uh, I'm gonna pass the the video 
but what I am gonna do is press uh, this button and later on this one so now we are ready and now if we go to actions we can see for example partner we have uh, three partners in the source database and three in the target one uh, this is the B8 database clean uh, so it uh, it already uh, made some suggestions on how uh, fields are gonna be migrated from one database to the another one so I can try to migrate uh, running the action let's see and here in the log I don't have any error message so uh, everything goes uh, right you can see now we have these partners in our uh, BA database so I can lock this action I say it's okay so let's go for companies here are also some suggestions I see this source fields doesn't uh, didn't find a target field but where uh, I don't need them so no problem I keep them that way I enable this action and run it everything goes okay let's go to the another one users well um, let's see well here I have some error uh, that is because the um, ID for admin user in the in in B8 change uh, so the it's trying to generate a user called admin and but there is already one so there is a constraint uh, I, I know sorry now it's another error it's the action the so I don't want to migrate the actions no problem let's run it again now yes we have the constraint error so here what I do is just uh, tell the the action that I don't want to move a user with login admin uh, so y here you can put any domain you want and also choose from which record to which record zero will mm, uh, send everything so now um, we have uh, users uh, two users in both database but the ID the external ID for admin in the target database is different so what I am going to tell our ma manager is that we want to map each time user ID um, uh, from B6 well I want to show you so if I have user ID field I want to make a map by ID from user to user so now I can read the records I have in the one database and in the other one and now it gives me the availability of map for example here you can see that administrator it's base user admin but in touch database it base user root so this way uh, the the actions will map the new ID let's continue well users already done enable blocked so account fiscal year let's try to run it it goes okay look this uh, the state field it's uh, in an all repeating state this is because uh, if we send the uh, uh, fiscal year closed then we cannot uh, append data in that fiscal year so we the the model has availability of uh, running uh, all the actions and with some mappings and then you can repeat these actions only for those mappings that has on repeating uh, we use that in many places so well that's it 
product template. Well, I don't want to migrate product template as when I send the product, that product, uh, all products are sent, so I disable it. Uh, well, here we have product. Uh, let's see this field. Uh, well, no problem. I don't want to migrate them. For example, product image. What's was rename it? I think to uh, image. So let's try to migrate. Ah, that is because it is trying to migrate the template field, but we haven't migrated the template, so let's disable it. Let's run it again. Now everything goes okay. So now you can see we have uh, the partners, we have uh, products, and well, this is how it works. And and when you have built all the rules, you can run it again with a new f database. Also, your customer can keep working with his database. You make uh, some tests with. Uh, uh, a database and all database and then you once you have the rules you just need to run it with the new database and it should work um, and you can see that when you make a mapping from one field to the another one you can uh, make some like f for a field or run some expression uh, for example uh, is company field doesn't exist in b6 so in B8, you perhaps want to say that uh, each company should be set to true for partners and for partner address not. Um, well, that's all for now. Uh, sorry for my bad English. And feel free to contact us if you want to work with this project. Um, so with uh, the last thing we want to say is that the aim of this project is different than auto migration or open upgrade. It allows uh, you to start over uh, from a clean database, uh, merging different uh, Odoo database into a single one, like a multi-company database. So, uh, or also to change data. For example, we can have one chart of accounts and we want to uh, migrate all invoice account moves in a new uh, chart of account database so it is possible and we have we are doing that um, so the possibilities are big bye bye